We've got tips and recipes for healthy living. So for fun and inspiration, come and join us in the raw food world. Welcome everybody, this is Matt Monarch with the Raw Food World TV show. Coming at you in Vilcabamba, Ecuador with Gila 2. It seems like it's been a very long time since we've actually got to say hello to everybody. Hello! What's going on? We just kind of forgot it to do videos, didn't we? Maybe we fell into a well. Mm -hmm. um, guess what, guys? Guess what is right around the corner? Loja? Loja is a city near here. The holiday season, Thanksgiving, where you and your family get to get together. They're eating all the turkey, gravy, potatoes, and other things while we bring our salads. Everyone's wondering what the heck we're doing, thinking we're crazy. Is that next week? Next Thursday. Wow, it's like a week away. Yeah. What's Mr. Monarch going to be doing on Thanksgiving? Well, I can't be in the United States, so I guess I'm going to be here with my beautiful wife. Who doesn't even really know what Thanksgiving is. and doesn't give her monkeys, really. Or a turkey? No. So, guess what? What? On Tuesday, I've prepared it all. We've got a pre-holiday newsletter for everybody. About... An article with the social aspects and dealing with this sort of thing. Nice. I'm hopefully going to get a video with my brother talking about it. And maybe we're going to get down and gritty with it all. Mm. Maybe I'll even get my mom if my brother doesn't come forth with it. Will you be giving thanks next Thursday? No. Why? I give thanks every day. So you will be giving thanks next Thursday. Yes. And every day, henceforth. Yes. I mean, you guys know how it is. So here you are at dinner, Thanksgiving with your family and friends or whatever, loved ones. It's uncomfortable for me. I mean, I've been raw for 13 years and I still am uncomfortable about it. First, you're like, everyone's kind of like, oh, what do you got there? And then I'm feeling all kind of like, eh. While at the same time, I'm trying not to cringe by looking at them eating dead carcasses and topped with gravy and potatoes. Mm. You know what I'm talking about, babe? No. Mm. Mm. Christmas. It's like a double whammy. Yeah, so we've got tips and recipes in that newsletter. Maybe Babe wants to share them, something with them. You got recipe, oh, the new recipe book. New recipe book. Woo! Just went on the website, seriously, five minutes ago. Wow, it's called Healthy Holidays, right? Yep. Healthy Holidays by Heather Haxo Phillips. There's a lot of H's in there. By Heather, who runs Raw Bay Area, and also by lots of other people. Lots of us sent in um, some of our favorite holiday recipes and tips and recipes. Sherry Story is involved. Elena Love. Elena Love's Melissa involved. Melissa Mango. Melissa Mango. Uh, Chaya. Chaya. Chaya, the one who made the wedding cake at our wedding. Amazing angel light -like goddess chef. And I think the chef from Cafe Gratitude and all kinds of people. There's tons of really mm. yummy holiday recipes in there and ideas and we've got a situation why cherry our baby horse is turning into a mutant <laughs> <laughs> he's got black all of a sudden he's got like black eyes a black snout brown everywhere else and he's got black ears it's like i've never there's never been a horse like this ever on the planet He's our unique little handsome He's got two stallion. black eyes. <laughs> what 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 mare's gonna want him? Baba. I guess they don't really look at that sort of thing. No, he is really cute though. Today he was going. Ooh, whatever, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> it is amazing. He, if you look at the pictures of him from when he was first born, he's just he's brown. He's totally brown. 
now he has literally like <laughs> these two big black things like a panda around his eyes and his whole front muzzle snout thing is black as well it's really funny maybe we should show them a clip okay okay you can check out angela lying down with the pretty baby Baba. check it out You gotta love it. Can they see his black eyes and nose in the clip? I sure think so. He's doing very well. He's gonna be six weeks old tomorrow, Cherry Star. And he is a lot of fun to have around. He's a giggle chop, isn't he, Bubba? He is a giggle chop. Where did the giggle chop come from? Where did the cuddle chop come from? I don't know. What does this chop mean? Mm. Is that an English thing? No! It's a Gila thing! Uh, right? Maybe Bubba can explain what Gila means, but they don't think the people know that, do they? What? They don't know that name. Gila? Some of them do. Oh, yeah. What is it? Okay, so a long time ago I met Miss Stokes here, Angela. And I used to be like, oh, hi, Angela, Whoops, how are you? And then she'd be like, stop calling me Angela. My friends call me Gila. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm sorry. So we talk later. Hey, Angela, Gila. Baba. Nah. It's Angela without the A and the N at the front. What's the purpose of that? It sounds nice. Mm. It just came out. She's never, she was started, but you were start. you were called that after you went raw, right? You were never called that before then. I was given that name when I lived in Sri Lanka, so that was before I was raw. I learned something new about this woman every single day. <laughs> she has held probably like 57 job positions. Okay. All right, we won't get into that. Holidays. Happy holidays. Should we give them some tips? <laughs> about happy holidays? Yeah, I'll give some tips for you all. My first tip is going to be... <laughs> <laughs> what? Stand your ground during the holidays. What does that mean? Don't give in to the turkey and the, to the junk that they're eating. It's like this, everybody. Let's say you have some friends that smoke cigarettes, but you can't hang around them because the cigarette smoke bothers you. Do you take up smoking cigarettes so you can adapt to the smoke and be able to hang out with your friends? What's yeah. the difference with food? I don't get it. You know what a lot of people are saying? It's like, oh, I'll just wait till after Thanksgiving. Like last year. Hmm. Nah. Nah. Maybe I'm going to give the nice people a tip. <laughs> <laughs> but first, sing them the right motion song. Baba! And then. I don't remember the raw emotion song. Uh. I recorded it though.
It was a very interesting experience when I woke up yesterday morning, there was a song in my head and it was all about raw emotions and I recorded it and um, I'll probably fill in some more lyrics for it at some point and then I'll put it on YouTube or something as a song. This happens all the time. Okay, Angela lives in a musical when she's sleeping, when she's awake, there's music always playing in the background and you should have saw her when she woke up yesterday morning about the song. She comes in, she's like, where's the camera? Where's the camera? <laughs> And I'm like, right here. She's like, it's not charged. Ah! And she goes to her computer and she goes and, because, you know, it's fresh in her head and she doesn't want to lose it. I lose, I've lost quite a lot of songs over the years because yeah. I, I, what I would ideally like is one of those little recorders to carry around with me everywhere so I could just record things. Didn't you get you one? I got one and then it broke. Oh. Looks like you're not meant to have one. Mm -hmm. Shall we give them another tip? <laughs> <laughs> Please. Um, I would like to say, I think it's a very good idea to bring along food that you're excited about to all of those kind of holiday gatherings. So when you look at those kind of gatherings, there's all this emotion around food usually, and people are really excited and... and Chocolate pie! Oh my God! And if you come along and you don't really bring in something that's interesting to you, you know, you just bring like some celery sticks and a bit of hummus or something, you're probably not going to find it as easy to be in an excited mood like the other people. And there's already a gap there probably, right? So you can help yourself if it speaks to you to bring along something that you're excited about, like maybe make some really yummy raw dessert. Um, there's so many different raw dessert recipes out there. You know, make some something that's really exciting to you and bring that along. And then you have something that you're excited to eat and you can share it with other people. And because it's dessert, you don't even need to tell people that it's raw, right? Just put it out. People love dessert. And then if you put Irish moss in there, which is like a thickening agent, so it makes the dessert like stand up and keep its form then you're even renegading minerals into people which is clearly genius because it's a seaweed irish moss is a seaweed but you can use it in lots of dessert recipes and it gives you a tiramisu consistency uh oh raw food flashback we're back in the tiramisu consistency world you can make a sweet tiramisu with that irish moss Bob, but you don't even know what tiramisu consistency is, so maybe not say that. Baba. No. Um, you could go to an online resource like GoneRaw.com, which is full of raw food recipes if you want to get some inspiration for doing something like that. I think it's a good idea. Bring your own food so that you know there's going to be something there that you're excited about. Don't just rely on other people's offerings because it might randomly have some tuna in it, for example. Probably not in the cakes, but maybe in the salads. Do you have another tip for the nice people, Mr. Monet? That was a great tip. <laughs> I don't know, we should probably end it. We'll do more holiday stuff tomorrow. This is kind of fun because we got a clip that we got to add in there. Oh, with yeah. Your bum. Bye. Bye. And who we got there? Angela Stokes, Monarch. And Matt Monarch, rocking the house, ready for the holidays. Woo! And we'll see you again tomorrow at the Raw Food World TV show. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again at the Raw Food World.